I want a ticket to anywhere Maybe we make a deal Maybe together we can get somewhere Any place is better Starting from zero, got nothing to lose Maybe we'll make something Me, myself, I got nothing to prove What's up, you guys? I got some more Frank Zappa for you guys. Let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about this artist. And if you guys want me to keep jamming on this music journey, I will. This one is called Montana, a token of his extra. I do believe it's live again, so let's see if he brings in a sense of humor and how he comes in on this one. Um, Montana, let's go, you guys. Um, it's a song, Frank Zappa, 1973 LP, Overnight Sensation. The last track of the album, Zappa's most famous, re owned composition featured backing vocals ooh, by Tina Turner throughout the entire track. Let's go you guys, 1973. Ooh. Here's my fluffy. Raise me up a crop of dental floss. What? Raising it up, <laughs> waxing it down in a little white box that I could sell up town. But by myself, I wouldn't have no boss, cause I'd be raising my lonely dental floss. Raising my just might grow me some bees, but I'd leave the sweet stuff to somebody else. How about you, right over there? And then I would keep the wax and melt it down, pluck the floss, and swish it around, and I would have me a crop. Poo-poo, <laughs> ta -da -da, and poo-poo, ta -da -da. Okay, so Frank Zappa can only <laughs> can be the only artist that can make a song about flossing and being a flossing farmer, tycoon. Like, what the? I've never heard something like. Okay, but it makes him different. <laughs> it makes him so much different. Whoopie tie oh tie I'm moving to Montana soon. I wonder what that means.
made me a horse just about this big and ride him all along the borderline with a pair of heavy duty zircon encrusted tweezers in my hand every other wrangler would say I was mighty grand but by myself I wouldn't have no boss cause I'd be raising my lonely Tweezers gleaming in the moonlighty night. Help me out, Ruth. Tweezer glint. And then I get a cup of coffee and get my foot a push. Just me and the pygmy pony over by the dental floss bush. And then I might just jump back on and ride like a cowboy into the dawn to Montana. Brung something different in. First off, this was like we just reacted to this one's Montana Bobby Brown. Okay, you guys. So, Bobby Brown, that one was live, but it didn't bring out the group like this. This is about flossing, y'all. About a pony named Mighty Little. <laughs> Dental Floss Tycoon. If I pronounce that right, like, move it to Montana. We're going to make big moves, you know? <laughs> oh, gosh. He was one of a kind. Yeah, it's definitely comedy rock. I didn't even know that was a such thing. But Frank, yeah. That is his genre. He is in his own lane. On the album, Overnight Sensation, you guys. Um, a crop of dental floss. I mean, the whole band. They worked as a team, like I always say, when you work as a team, it shows. Um, brought out a colorful outlook. Definitely gave me like a day's vibe. More of a um, funky pop. Maybe progressive rock too, I don't know. Um, but that's what I'm getting from it. 1973, you guys. You guys let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about Frank Zappa. So far, how I feel about him, he comes with a lot of sarcasticness. Entertaining, he's gonna make us laugh some sort of way in his lyrics. <laughs> Um, rest in peace to a talented one that, you know, we still can rock his music to today. New Generation Reacts. You guys let me know down in the comments how you guys feel about Frank and your girl go, he rocking him. Let's go. Mm -hmm. 